Welcome back to another video. My name is Nelly and today we're talking about a very specific issue. No transactions or few transactions imported. So I'll show you what a potential one of these looks like. So if you have, I don't know, a Bitcoin wallet with only two transactions and not even showing, showing any coins, I will go through this help article, which I will leave down below as well. Um, and hopefully help you answer some questions and give you some more information uh, about this kind of issue. Okay, so if you are seeing zero or few transactions on um, a blockchain wallet, such as the one I just uh, showed, you, uh, showed you, the Bitcoin one, uh, then this usually means that you entered a single public address instead of your X pub key. And I've said this in a few different videos. It's, in, it's very important to know um, the difference. So I will also leave this article, which is a little bit too long for the scope of what I'm trying to do in this video, but it talks about you know exporting your XPub um, from your BR, BRD, your JAX, and other wallets. So, anyways, Bitcoin, BCH, LTC, Dash, Dodge, and many other uh, coins use something called the UTXO, which basically means that you get a unique address every time you want to receive a payment, which is different than some wallets, which might give you one specific address for all your um, transactions or all your you know transfers this also means that if you uh, were to at enter the single address into coinly then coinly will only pull the transactions associated with that address so you only have one or two transactions so it's very important to know the difference in order to import all your transactions you will need to enter your x your extended public key it's called an xpub into coinly instead of your single address and like i said earlier i will leave a video talking more about you know xpubs and all that kind of stuff but as always that is the end of this video is a very short video just talking about this very specific issue if you have any questions i would highly recommend our forums which i will leave down below and if you need even further assistance we have actually a support team you can contact us or email us and i will leave that um, down below as well. If you found the video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time.